Hey y'all, in this video we're going to open up some more Wizards of the Coast booster packs uh, and I have a giveaway announcement for the last pack that I'm going to show you guys. Uh, we do have some new packs that are out. You guys have seen them online. That's the best place to look, tcagaming.com. Or for some reason, if you try to go through and the payment doesn't work out, just send me an email. Uh, you can always just reorder if they're available and I can cancel out the older order. But for some reason, sometimes that it, it glitches. I mean, it's, it's an old site and the new Windows is kind of wrecking a lot of places on the internet like eBay and YouTube and my website. So, first we're going to start off with Carnig B. Now, probably he said that he has a difficult name on the English side, so he said call him Kevin. So, this is Kevin's pack and he bought a Jungle First Edition. And these, honestly, I think we pulled a hollow out of one of the, one of the other packs and it looks pretty nice. I'm trying to remember, it was either that or maybe it was unlimited, but I always get excited about the jungle because there's so many cards that I still need for my personal set, and it's not so expensive, man. It's just crazy. People, the 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 demand on these first edition PSA 10 cards that are really you know popular, like the Snorlax and the Vaporeon, they just continue to seem to go up. Even uh, during these times where people are spending less money on the auctions, they're bringing really good prices. You're not seeing the crazy dips on them. Wait a minute. No, it's an unlimited. Well, looks like I bought this booster pack um, myself. I'm going to pause this, come back, and I'm going to go get a first edition pack for this opening. Okay, guys. So what just happened there was I put the wrong type of pack in here for what Kevin bought. I put an unlimited. He bought first edition. So this, is, this will be his pack right here. And what I opened... I just personally bought from the consignee. Consignee? Yeah, from the consignee. So let's see what I got. Maybe I got a hollow. Jigglypuff is always a good start. Spira, Paris. Goldeen, Pokeball. Got a Persian. Rapidash. Rhydon. Both really good uncommon, so I'm happy with it so far. Oddish. Nidoran. Oh, Scyther. Wow. Glad I bought that pack. I don't need this in first edition unlimited. Looks like it might be a backside. Front looks great. Wow, the centering. Don't really see print lines, which is rare for jungle. But you can see right there, it does have some whitening around that edge. If you can see it with my finger in the background. And there's a, a little nick right there. Front looks great. I mean, that's 910 quality, which is usually where you see the damage. Backside, the edges, that's probably closer to like an 8 quality. I'm seeing white dots on a few corners. But overall, pretty good, man. Well, thank you for selling me that pack. Now we'll open up Kevin's pack, his first edition Wigglytuff artwork. Basically what happens is, somebody buys a pack, I have a box that's sitting down, downstairs. And then I just pick them. It comes straight off the top, straight through all the way through to the bottom of the pack or through the box. I busted the seals on all these. They are all unweighed, which is nice. You can probably go back through and count out the hollows for most of the videos if any of you are really want to do that. Some of them are ship sealed, but not too many are. We've got Execute, Cubone, Mankey. Can we get another Rapidash? Well, there's Persian. What was it? It was right on Rapidash Persian. Was that right? Oh, gloom. So maybe it's not the same layout or it's in a different position. And the Seeking. Here we go. Mankey. Ooh, we got the Pikachu. That always gives you some value. Great job on that one. Venonat. Oh, got the Eevee too. Sweet. Then for the final card. Ooh, we got a Jolteon. Very nice, man. You didn't pull a hollow, but I bet you got your value back if these all grade well. I mean, that's that's the key, right? People are wanting these packed fresh cards so that they can get high grades out of them if they're looking to resale or just put them in their collection. But either way, three hot pulls. Got the Eevee, Pikachu, and the Jolteon. So congratulations on that. Sorry I didn't get a hollow. I pulled a hollow out of the unlimited pack. But I still think you got way more value with yours. Because that Scyther is probably about an 8 or so. Might get the 9 if they're just looking at the front. Alright, so next up we have Shane T. With two Fossil Booster Packs. Got them right there. 
let's see what you pull. I think the last two fossil packs were like Magneton and Raichu Rare. So it's time for us to get a hollow. See if we can get one. Let's pull a hollow for Shane. Almost looks like a darker border. That's kind of cool. Got the shelter, Ekans. See if the uncommons are different. It's a little bit lighter. You can kind of tell there. Got the ghastly, mysterious fossil, Amistar. Sand Slash, got Grimer, Kabuto, Ammonite, Tentacool, and oh, well, you got your hollow. It's a muck, but you got your hollow. So these mucks are usually pretty common because you can get them in the theme deck, but also they're really easy to grade because of the, how the background is set up. You know, it's it's tough to uh, find one of these, you know, not in a PSA 10 at some time on eBay. I mean, you can always find lower grades, but you could always find this card in a 10 as well. Because the other one that was from the set was Lapras. I mean, you had Muck and Lapras. Lapras, super hard to grade, pretty popular Pokemon. Back in the day, the, the non-hollows were super cheap, but because the 10 holds a premium, it uh, it's a, and it's a little bit more popular Pokemon, the price on it has always went up, whereas the Muck has not. But congratulations, you did pull your hollow, got the muck out of the way. Maybe this one will have the Dragonite. Well, here we go, Shane. Zubat, Geodude, Mysterious Fossil, Krabby, Weezing. Doesn't have the uh, little slash error energy search. Amistar, I think we got one more in common, right? Mr. Fuji. One of the best artworks on a trainer, especially old older sets anyways. Oh, two for two on hollows. Got a ditto. There we go. It's crazy to think about. We were zero for two in the previous video, and then we're two for two in this one. So that means if we go zero for two in the next video, then we're back to the regular odds. Cause they're because you pull normally one in three. One hollow in three packs. Kind of like a little check mark or something on his body. You kinda see it right there. It's kinda weird. It's like a check. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera. Let's see what the backside is. Not too bad. Got a little bit of whitening right there. So that'll probably keep it from getting a 10. But congratulations, man. You got yourself two holographic cards. Put this in here. And we're not done. We still have more packs to go. Like I said, I told you guys I'm going to have a little bit of a giveaway announcement at the very end. Next up, we have Zafon. He bought a first edition Gym Challenge booster pack. This was the last pack from the first box that we went through. And I think this box went really well because it was, it was priced pretty well, especially compared to some of the other sets. Alright, let's see what we have here. And there's just so much going on in Gym Challenge. Like, even if you don't get a hollow, I mean, you usually get value somewhere else. Got Fervor, Koga's Ekans, Misty's Horsey. Got an Energy in Giovanni's Nidorina. Koga's Pidgey, I always like the artwork on that one. Blaine's Doe Duo, Sabrina's Drowsy. Got Cinnabar City Gym. Erica's Oddish, and then I think this is the last card. Ooh, got Chaos Gym. So no hollow there. Chaos Gem was one of those rare trainers that was always kind of like standalone expensive. I don't know if it was because it was a harder gem to find or for what reason. Maybe it was playable and I just never saw it played. But even when, you know, when regular trainers that were first edition from the gem series were about a dollar, he was usually about five bucks. So I'll put that one there. Sorry you didn't get the hollow ziff on, but I do appreciate the business and the business that you brought and taking the chance on opening up a pack. We have one more booster pack to go. And let me show you guys what's going on here. So, this is from the new Gym Challenge First Edition booster pack. And the seller, I want me to show you guys his IG handle. You guys can see that again there. But we have Blaine's Charizard First Edition. It's already been graded as seven. He wants to give this away to one of the pack buyers. I think the way we're going to do it is similar to the Tyranitar and some of the other stuff. If you buy in, then you automatically get one entry per pack that you purchase. And then at the end, I'll do like a random number generator and mail it out to whoever the winner is. So that's a bonus that you can do. That's you know something extra. 
that will happen to anyone who buys in. So the very first entry is for Michael M. You guys have seen him here so many times. Muya Bros on IG. And he said, check them out for their latest vintage Pokemon announcements. They've had some uh, decent pulls in the past. So I'm wondering if they're going to show off their PSA graded cards or... I really don't know. Maybe go check them out. Like I said, Muya Bros. And this is the pack of the ball. It was right off the top. We've got a Sabrina artwork. See that one there in the background. As a reminder. Maybe we could pull the Blaine's Charizard in this box. Because we did in the last box. Alright, so we have Gi Giovanni's Nidoran, Brock's Geodude, another Fervor. Got the Grass Energy. Sabrina's Hypno. Giovanni's Meowth. Blaine's Doe Duo. Sabrina's Abra. Misty's Horsey, one more in common. Got the Brock Scrabbler. I think it's the next card. Oh, Resistance Gym. Another trainer rare. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. We didn't pull anything too crazy in this one. We did get two Fossil Hollows out of two packs, which is pretty tough to do. But overall, uh, we didn't get the, the gym packs that, w that we wanted. Still got Blaine's Charizard lurking. Got Dragonite lurking in the, in the Fossil Packs. In the jungle, we still have pretty much everything. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll have another one coming out very soon. Thanks.